Hey guys, it's Yesh here, YeshuaBoyton.com. In this video, I'm sharing my Easter message motivational for you. I'm sharing a revelation that I believe can really be a key for freedom and breakthrough in your life, and I believe it really will bless you. If you're new to this channel, I'm all about helping you grow in faith, experience the gospel, and walk it out daily. So consider subscribing, hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload my weekly videos, usually on Mondays, and I really believe all the content already uploaded to this channel is really a blessing for you. This video is a little bit different because it's an excerpt out of a sermon I was preaching a couple of weeks ago, but I really believe it also is fitting to Easter in general. Just watch it, be blessed, be encouraged. And I pray that God will touch you and bring you real freedom because that's what it's all about. God bless you. What did Jesus do? He died on the cross. One sentence. So easily said. Thank you. It's right. Yeah. One line. Very easy to say. He died on the cross. Have you ever studied the cross? I encourage you highly to do that. And I really pray that God would give you a revelation of forgiveness because the revelation is the key. Not what I'm saying right now, not the knowledge that I'm trying to bring to you is the key. The revelation is, even as God has in Christ has forgiven you, forgave you, that's the key. If you receive that forgiveness that Jesus made possible for you, by saying, okay, Lord, take this cup away, but you know what? Father, your will be done, not mine. God allowed man to mock him, to punch him, to whip him. Can you imagine God, Jesus? They asked him, are you the king of, a Jew, of the Jews? And he said, well, you say so. And rightfully so, he's the king of the Jews. He's the king of kings, Lord of lords being on the floor, bleeding already. And they take that crown and just put it on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what they did. But he did that for you. He did that for you. He thought of you. You didn't know him yet. You didn't do anything yet. You couldn't because you were not alive, but he thought of you. And then he blindfolded him and they punched him in the face, punched him in the face. Oh, king of the Jews, prophesy. Who, who hit you? Who hit you? And he thought of you. And maybe he turned the other cheek and said, yeah, well, I do it for Sparky. I do it for Madeline. I do it for Colton. I do it for Ellery and James. I do it. Yes. Just for the chance that they have the chance to choose. To choose. And then he was whipped. His flesh was torn off the back. And the Bible says, in his wounds, in those wounds, we were healed. He didn't stop there. He could have said, oh, wow, that's enough now. There's enough torture now. Okay, let's, let's stop this. And everything would be gone. But no, he didn't stop. He went to the cross. And what did, what did he say? He had every right on earth to kill everyone with just one word, which he will at some point. If you read the Bible, Revelations, he will with one word. But what did he say? Forgive them, Father, for they do not know what they do. He was thinking of you because it was your sin my sin when i was in my mess when i was filthy ugly sinful rebellious just a mess hurt bitter angry just a spiritual mess a sinner of all sinners as paul says he looked at me from all eternity and said yes that's why i'm doing this for yeshua for brooklyn for ethan for david he did that for you that is forgiveness. There's no greater love than this, that one lays down his life for his friends. He called you friend before you even knew him. He loves you, that's real love, that's the power, that's the key to become tender-hearted, to be kind, real kind, not worldly kind. Can you give me a dollar? Yeah, here's a dollar. That's not the kindness this is talking about. Hey, I'm really going through some mess. Can you please come over and just help me out? I'm in the middle of something. Uh, you know what? No, I can't. And then going. Selflessness. As Christ forgave you. Selflessness. I call you to salvation today. To rededicate your life for the ones that need. But there's also 
real cleansing in the blood of Jesus, not just salvation, but real cleansing, freedom. Count the cost. It's not about the rules. Someone paid a price with blood for your salvation, for your healing, for your deliverance, your restoration. He paid everything, He paid it all. He made it possible that you have a relationship with Jesus. It's like a gift. We can accept it or we can reject it. And that's something we have to choose every day. Take up your cross daily, Jesus says. Take up your cross. Let's spend some time. Let's get this mess figured out. Once washed, once made the right decision, you can be forgiven and righteous and clean before God. Standing before Him without shame or guilt, without having to think, Oh, I sinned again. I did this, that, and oh, Lord, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. You can be free from shame, guilt, and condemnation because there's forgiveness, freedom, true freedom. I call you to repentance if you need it. I call you to salvation if you need it. I call you to rededicate your life if you need to.